Welcome to my channel. I'm Emma and this is my sewing related content on YouTube. And my channel is called So Good Emma if you don't already know that. I'm sure you do. But yeah, if you like what you see and if you haven't already, please give this video a little like. And if you want to see more content witty as it is ever, um Please do subscribe if you haven't already. That would be amazing. So the sun has finally appeared today, and just outside Edinburgh, and um, it was particularly cloudy for most of the morning, and then went into the afternoon, and then it decided to brighten up. So this is me recording a video. Um, technically I should be in Rome right now, sunning beside, sunning up myself beside a pool and maybe a glass of wine or whatever but I'm not my passport has went stray let's just say that I've hunted high low in cupboards and drawers and pockets and handbags turned the house upside down and nothing They've, probably the reality is I've had it in a handbag Pulled it out and I've not no noticed it falling out, which is probably the most real thing that it could have happened. So I'm going to order a replacement one, of which will probably take a few weeks, and um, I hope the original one doesn't turn up because that would be eighty-five quid, annoyingly eighty-five quid. But when I do replace. Uh, I'll have to say that I've lost it anyway, so, yeah, but, yeah, it's taken me all my strength to go and have a shower and put something nice on, do my hair, and now I'm here and I'm giving you content, so, I've got a few fabrics to show you that I have been buying recently, and um, I've got plans for them, so, yeah, if you want to see what fabrics I've bought in the recent months, it hasn't been all in one, it's been in the recent months. So I've already showed you what I bought from First for Fabrics, so if you want to go and check that vlog out, I will link it in the box below. So there you go. That is the Sotun, or May Sotun, that I met the lovely Tamlin for the second time and um, various other lovely people. Someone came from Oregon and it begins with L. I'm having a moment of um, oh! but she was absolutely lovely and running so and so was there. I'm really crap with first names. But running so was there. Also, Ran the Yorkshire Soaker was there. Second time that I've met her. Fabulous as ever. Even better in real life than on screen, I tell you. The same as Rachel. Um, stitches. Stitched up. That's the one. <coughs> yeah. Um, I had a panic attack yesterday. I think it's really completely rocked my brain left, right and centre. But I'm here now, I'm okay. I think my body's just recovering. But anyway, back to Sotun, it was amazing. Um, went down with Steph, who was brilliant. We've got another trip planned in September. And maybe another one after that. Oh yeah. I do like going down to Sotun. It's just nice it's yeah just a very very quick day but you get to go to first fabrics as well and yeah you just 
get to meet lovely sewing people. But yeah, so back to fabrics. Um, I won't show you the sewing ones that I got from Fast for Fabrics because we've already seen that. So we can go and check it out in the box below. Yeah, rambled for five minutes. Woohoo! So, right, we do that. Let's do Felicity Fabrics first. They had a birthday sale. Uh, Fliss. I forgot that was. Had a big birthday. I think she was 30. So you got 30% off, I think, of the birthday sale. So I saw this a wee while ago. And I was like, ooh, that's nice. So then I saw the sale and I was like, what oh, if there's any of this left? Um, I'll go and get it. It's a lovely, I think, it's a lovely sort of mauve colour. And I think either I'm going to make a cardigan. You know which one, the Blackwood cardigan. I'm actually going to go and try the curve sizes, the 12 to 30 sizes of the Blackwood cardigan because I've only tried the original version that went up to size 22 or something so I'm gonna um, try that because I think that would probably work better for my body um oh yeah so yeah it's a beautiful knit um it is it's got this lovely texture and it's not too thick right that thick it's got a nice stretch to it as well so i think my overlocker would, would be happy with that so that is the first fabric and as i was on there i think we got maybe one and a half of this cotton now I think I was thinking maybe a Donny shirt. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to make more of this. And uh, these I've only made one, but I really want to make another one. Um, so yeah, you'll you'll see more fabrics this than for the Donny shirt. Um, but I got this beautiful cotton as well. It's got spring flowers. Really need to get it cracking because it's summer here in the UK but at least in Scotland with this gorgeous weather I think I've got one and a half if not two meters but yeah I thought this would be an incredible donning shirt it's got a lovely drape to it as well being a cotton I think it's cotton lawn so that was the second one from Felicity Fabrics I'm just going to chuck the fabrics here because I'm going to have to go and wash them anyway Next up is from so much more. Mm, mm, mm. I bought this brush cotton and I have it's not the Elford, it's um oh the other jacket pattern. Mm. Dialark, is it G, G something? Anyway, there's a jacket pattern out of this, and I saw this fabric, and I was like, that's going to have to be, you know what, and I think I've got lovely lilac buttons that will appear really well with that, that I got from Bitted Bobbins. She's got an Etsy shop, so I will link that in the box below, so there's lovely vintage buttons. We'll go and check that out but this is a lovely brushed cotton from so much more if there's any left i will pop a link for so much more in the box below in the fabric so yeah that was that was a good buy i just love the green and lilac together do you get that feeling and while we're on the topic of colors i'm wearing the sirocco jumpsuit by dear and door this is now going up to 60 inch hip and uh yeah i made it in a viscose jersey it is super comfortable 
I graded from different sizes from bust probably being of 46 inches to a hip of 60 and I think I kept the waist as a 46 maybe 40 I can't quite remember but yeah I did a lot of grading um, from the bust to the hips and it's like secret pajamas and I just love it but we'll get back on to the fabric next one is uh, from Jenny Fabrics now, did I have just one bit of fabric from her? Possibly did, but this is Jenny made this up. Uh, this green sailor seaman jersey, and uh, she made a cardigan, and I, it was just lovely. So that kind of pushed me over the edge, and I bought some because I had been going. Well, didn't I do a one a light blue one? Do I want a pink one or do I want a green one? And I gravitate to the green, as you might notice. <laughs> as you might notice, I'm going to pause because my throat is getting... <sighs> hey, fever, you know? But I just gravitate between two green. The Buffins Vintage Buttons, that's the one, just came up on Instagram, notifications, yeah, right timing, so, yeah, so that was Jenny Stitches, quite affordable, the last two shops, fabric wise, now, hey so sister, I love the Georgie, was having an open studio, one Saturday, um, I think this was the day before I went down to Sotun. Yes, I was incredibly naughty. But, um, yeah, you have to be. So I got this lovely sourced bag to put my fabrics in, actually. Um, this was 7 50 So it's an organic cotton bag. Just a nice little canvas bag with a print on it. So Georgie popped in a little um, print of that. So same as the back, which was quite nice. And I bought some of those gorgeous buttons from Pigeon Rushes. I love a Pigeon Rushes button. Um, and then I bought some Joy fabric uh, labels um let me see if i can get this open without making too much noise so you're doing great and it's got hey so sister on the back beautiful woven labels she does a whole different range of labels um but yeah, I think there's six in the pack. And then she put a addition, if you get a label with every order, so you look lovely. Have a nice day. So the fabric that I got from her, so Georgie, I saw this. She had a few remnants of this, and I saw this, and I was like, Donny, 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 Donny. So I got this and this is a 150 by 138 centimetre wide piece and then that was £24. Sorry, I've not even mentioned other prices, but whoops. Um then I bought I had seen Georgie had put a Donny shirt up in this. Now I think I'm going to put this and a couple other mates for so fruity um challenge which is run by Blossom Sandwich the lovely Yv Yvette has hosted this the last couple of years. Sorry, the sun is really bright and I feel like I'm closing my eyes. So I saw this on Georgie's Instagram. She had made the Donny shirt by Friday Company. The same as me. 
which made it in this um, beautiful strawberry fabric. Um, I think it's a cotton, and it's just got the most adorable um, strawberry print on it. So this is going to be the Donny shirt, as much as the other one. It just needs wash, so this is kind of my point in doing this video. So I'm wash all those fabrics because I kind of been waiting to this, do this video and not got around to it so I really need to just crack on and do it so yeah I got one and a half meters of this beautiful fabric I think it's going to make a lovely Donny shirt just as nice as George's and um, yeah so that is what I've got from Hey So Georgie or Hey So Sister open day studio and the wee studio is absolutely so if she has another one, I'm definitely going along because I I bought other fabrics and I just got a remnant drop pile. I'll be going through that as well. So yeah, <laughs> I'll get in there quick. <laughs> Next up is these two beautiful fabrics. Now I think this is a Taylor brunette. And it's viscose and um, this might be mind maker but if I'm wrong I'm going to put it up on the screen and um, they're both viscose I think this is viscose pill and this is like a lighter viscose Um, I'll pop the information in the, information in the description box below I am going blind and I'm going Thursday. Not a good look. The sun. And I've got the blind down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um now came from a shop down the south. South, 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 south. Yes, cream. Oh I'll pop, I'll pop the shop name up here, but yeah, they are going to make a set, I could even match, <laughs> it's garden, <laughs> with it, I think that would look quite nice together, that wasn't even planned by the way, six stitches and cream, that's the one I think. I got that. They had a wee sale on. Couldn't refuse. Now, as I was destashing, I have had to help others destash. So I bought a couple of pieces. This was bought from the lovely Laura, the Specky Seamstress. And uh, she was having a wee destash. And I saw this viscous twill. It's got the deers on. I think I'm going to make a skirt out of it. Or even clots. It's quite autonomous, so I might wait. It could be skirts. It could be a skirt. I think that would be quite nice on the skirt print. And then... Oh. I've got a card, so hopefully this will give me... Pia and the patterns. Yeah, I think it's Pia and the patterns. Um, I was having a de-stash as well. I saw this. She had lots of other gorgeous fabrics. I saw this. There's another fruity fabric. It's a cotton. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's quite on the narrow side. I think there's two and a half. Maybe two. I think it'll be enough to make a skirt, but yeah, it's got a lovely sort of cotton, like, it's not, it's not too stiff, but it does hang like a cotton, Um, yeah, I think it is, I'm just trying, Ruby Star Society. 
So Sarah was um, to Florida range, but I think this is gonna make a nice skirt. I don't know if I want it near my face. However, nice skirt would look quite nice in this. Yeah, that is that. Then I saw Higgs and Higgs were doing a little cheeky sale on the cable knits or a site wide sale, I can't remember. Um, and I saw this. I had been eyeing this up for quite some time and I love a lavender. If you don't know, you don't know, but you know you do. Um, me rambling. Um, just again, Emma, your voice is going. Why am I doing a vlog? My voice is going to be gone by the end of this. Stupid hay fever. Hey ho. But anyway, I got like one and a half or two meters of this. It wasn't cheap. I think it was about eighteen pound per meter. But oh boy, this is so soft. I wanted to get ribbing to match. Now this is going to be quite difficult to get ribbing to match. Um, however, I have got a lilac Jackson pullover, and I got the ribbing for that from so much more. So I'm going to match the ribbing and see if it's got a good, a good um, match. So watch the space. That idea just came on to me, but um. I think maybe a cardigan because I kind of seen in Berlin there was a shop. I walked past that. I could not drag Palo in for a life of money. Um, but I saw it in the beauty of my eye and it was like really fluffy, but it was lilac. I was like lilac cardigan. I half of have a lilac cardigan, and I really wanted to go back and see it. But this is just absolutely gorgeous, um, and I love the cable knit feel. Yeah. I've got a few of the cable nets that I need to make up. <laughs> um, yeah. I've got a large Jackson pullover that I'm going to be making into a sweater dress. I know not not the weather that you want to make a sweater dress in because it's absolutely boiling, but hey ho. <coughs> Such is life. But yeah, that is the latest of my fabrics. I have got a couple of pieces coming from Rainbow Fabrics that I bought, but they've not arrived yet. So they will take probably another week to arrive. But yeah, this is some content for you. If, 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 you, know, if you've enjoyed this, please uh, give me a little thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing already. My numbers have went up so if you've recommended this channel if you talked about me on your channel thank you so much if you recommended me on instagram or pushed anything mentioned me thank you so much um you're kind-hearted and i love you all and i hope this hay fever throat goes away because it's really annoying i'm i'm okay i'm just powering through this loss of my passport situation there's nothing that i can do i can just make content for you guys and then um, be happy that i'm in my swing room yeah. take care have fun bye walk up the river walk up the river walk up the river Splinters of me